all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this session of the course on go for natural language processing we're trying to see how to do sentiment analysis in go so let's see how to do that so as we already know sentiment analysis is a format of test classification in which you're trying to assign a test into a category and in sentiment analysis the categories that you are assigning any particular test is either into positive negative or neutral right so sentiment analysis simply means you're trying to find the emotion of a particular test so let's see how to do sentiment analysis in go so I'll come back again to our workspace this is where we'll be working and then i'm going to create a file so I'm going to create a file so control b control n I'm going to call the name of the file go sentiment dot go right so i can have access to it so that is the name of the package of the name of the file then as every go program we have started with package main i'm going to create our main function it's going to be a mandatory entry point then you start writing some code so to be able to do sentiment analysis there are a lot of packages but in this particular session we're trying to see how to use a very nice method which is a rule based approach right for sentiment analysis called vada so vada stands for valence aware dictionary sentiment prisoner so it's having a group of a dictionary with all the positive ways or the negative ways then it's going to use that particular rule that if it finds these positive ways within our test it's going to give it a score if it finds these negative ways within a test it's going to give it a score right so something like i love apples right and coding so the word love is a positive word so it's going to give it a score so something like that so it's going to be using the same approach to get all the positive ways negative ways within a test and then give it the sentiment so let's see how to work with it so i'll come back again to my browser go to go.dev or package.go.dev then search for the package vada or you can just go straight away with sentiment analysis there are a lot of packages but the one we are using for now is the vada package so we have this one which we'll be trying to see later on but you go down and choose the number three right so i click on this one then I'll just copy it here. So to get the package name, just copy it from here. We can also check the installation, but I'll copy it from here. Come back to my workspace. Just go to go, get, right, and I'll add it here. So this is going to add it to our mode file, right? We're going to add this particular package. That is how to download packages in Go. Perfect. So it doesn't give us any errors. So if I go back and I cut my go.mod file that I have, so it's like just that's added it there. So these are the other packages we're using. The one for summary. And the one for the NLP that we covered. So you can check the links below for more on all of these things. So come back again. It has been added to our package list. I come back to our workspace and then you start writing some code. So let's create a simple sentence. So I'll call that my sentence, my test, which is how to create a variable using a shorthand. So my test, and I'm going to call this I love eating apples and then coding, right? Everybody likes apples. Perfect. So that's our sentence. Now, in case I want to be able to get a sentiment of it, first of all, I must pass it. So I can just call it as this option. So I'll, I'll pass it. So let's create a simple variable called pass sent, right? Or let's make it a pass test. This is not the correct way of writing in Go, but we are still take it like that. I'm going to pass my test. This is the test I'm passing. I'm going to use a package sent, and that's it as by default. VS Code is able to identify that I have this particular package there. So I copy this one, right? It does automatically imported it here for us. Very cool, right? Sent it, sent it test dot, and I'm going to pass it. You must first of all pass your test. Pass. I'm passing my test. And I need a lexicon. As, as I said, this is a rule based approach, right? So it's having a lexicon of words, a dictionary of words, positive and negative words that it must compare against. So I'll just go back again, go with my lexicon. And by default, you can see that it's coming here. So you can use a custom lexicon, which is your own lexicon. You can use a standard lexicon, or you can use a default lexicon. So let's use the default. Perfect. That is all. So this option is trying to help us process and pass our test, right? And comparing it against a lexicon of dictionary, a dictionary of positive and negative ways. That is all. Now let's get our result. So I can call this one as my result. Then sent it test right dot polarity score and I pass in my pass test. Right, that is all. So that is the basic way. Now let's get our result fmt.print line 
the results that we have. So this is going to print three different numbers, right? Which consist of the positive, negative, and then neutral. So it's given on this error because let's check out why it's given on this error. Because of the naming, right? So as I said, in Go, we don't name it like that. In Python, we can do that, but let's take it off and let's take it on off so that it saves us time, right? Perfect. So the error is gone and now let's run this code. So I'll go back to our workspace. So go run go sentiment dot go. We're going to write and going to give us some numbers. Voila. So these numbers here is the score for this particular test, right? Using the vada. So it's comparing them, find the amount of positive, amount of negative, and amount of neutral. So that's why it's giving us three different numbers. One, two, three. So to get all the positive, can I just come back again? FMT dot print line. So let's use positive. And I just go with the highest number is usually the the sentiments dot you have compound right so compound is going to give us the entire uh, analysis for the entire stuff so let's go first of all with positive compound is the final result it's going to add all of them and give you your right sentiment then fmt dot print line negative is going to be our negative sentiment so result that we have dot negative I also call it sentiment and fmt dot print line we also have neutral so this is going to be neutral so result dot neutral perfect so that is going to give us the our positive our negative and our neutral so if i run it again now this is going to be in a very clean format so our positive is 0 0.45 our neutral is 0 0.54 and there's no negative there because I love eating apples. It's not a negative sentiment. So to get the real sentiment, I can just use the compound. So let's run it again. Come back again. Let's run it again, right? So I'm going to fill this one. Then add the final sentiment. So FMT dot print line. So this is going to be the real sentiment or the compound sentiment. So compound. We're going to add all of them together and give us a real sentiment. So I'll just go back to result dot compound. So let's save it and run it again as we did above. So I'll come back and I'll run it. Voila, it's going to give us a res result. So the, it is 0 0.6, that means that it is positive, right? It's not negative. So that is how to do sentiment analysis using Vada in Go. So the first thing is that you, you create your package.main. You import your package, your lexicon, which is the rule which you'll be using, the dictionary of all the words that are positive and negative, your sentiment, sentences to help us pass and then get the polarity score. Then you pass and process your test here with this particular approach, right? Then you check the polarity of that one. Then to get the real sentiment, just go with result.compound to get the real sentiment. We can also change this one. So let's say I love. Or let's say I hate onions, right? Let's go with this option. So I hate, nobody likes onions, but onions are very sweet anyway. And hygienic, I hate onions so bad, right? So we have given two negative ways. Let's run it again. So come back, run it. We we'll see the score. You can see that now this score is totally different from the previous one. So you can see that this, the negative is very high, right? And you can see that when we check for the real sentiment using the component, using the compound, we go to negative. That means that it's a negative sentiment. Very cool, right? So that is how to do sentiment analysis in Go using Vada. So thank you for watching and see you in the next session. Stay blessed. Bye.